Hello everyone, it's Mark from Worth It Repairs and today we're working on an iPhone 15 Pro charge port replacement. We'll power off the phone and grab our P2 star bit screwdriver and remove the two screws from the bottom. Once we have the screws removed, we'll get ready to heat up the screen. We're going to use our Apple OEM screen remover tool so we don't break the screen. Just a disclosure, you can break the screen doing this repair. Once the screen is removed, you can remove these Y000 screws in yellow to get the screen disconnected. Disconnect the battery in red and then disconnect the screen and proximity sensor in blue here to get the screen fully removed. This is the charge port. It has some charring down here at the bottom of the charge port. And they were saying that the phone was dying fast and is having an issue with staying on for a long period of time. So we're going to replace the charge port to find out if that will fix it. And we'll take out the charge port and get an overall look and check for liquid damage because maybe that's why it's not working right. So we'll um, see if that fixes it. But this is, will be a guide on how to replace the charge port. First, we'll remove these standoff screws. We're not going to take out the main board or logic board, whatever you want to call it out uh, for this repair, but we'll unscrew it so then it makes it easy to take the charge port out and I'll show you at the end of taking the charge port out on how we're going to take it out. But we're going to get these unscrewed now so we don't have to do it later. All right, we'll get zoomed in here, get it frozen for you guys so you can see all the screws you're going to have to remove. You'll have to remove all these PH000 screws in green and then you're also going to need to unscrew one Y000 screw right down by the Taptic engine down there on the left. And then there's going to be some screws underneath these screws. So you're going to have to keep track of all these screws. So I recommend using two screw trays for this repair so you don't mix the screws up and uh, don't put them in the wrong spots because they don't all fit in the same spots. Once the screws are removed, you can remove the loudspeaker and then disconnect the Taptic engine and take that out as well. And then we will unscrew the, where the microphone is. A bummer on this phone, the iPhone 15 Pro, the microphone isn't removable like it is on the iPhone 15 and the newer phones like the iPhone 16. But that is just one letdown of this phone repair that we're doing and finding out more about the iPhone 15 Pro that people haven't seen yet. Please like and subscribe, and if you don't subscribe, I'm going to put this broken charge port back in your phone. All right, so we'll grab our pointy end of our plastic spudger to help get the bracket holding down the microphone connection. Um, down, there's a little lever that you got to push on the right-hand side, and you can't really see in the camera angle, but you just use that to kind of pop it off. Just work your way around it. Next, grab out your standoff screwdriver. Remove these four standoffs that are holding down the charge port. And there's going to be one more layer of screws once we get out the battery. The battery should have pull tabs on it and you'll grab your tweezers and twist them up and pull them out. I recommend having the loudspeaker and the Taptic engine already removed so it makes it easier so you don't have to take out alcohol and pry out the battery because we're going to put the battery back in when we're done because it's already been replaced. See? Easy. Now that the battery's removed, we'll disconnect the charge port and then the microphone connection, and then we can lift up the board and slide the charge port out from underneath the board, just like this. So just lift it up with your thumb or a spudger, and then you can just slide it out, and you might bend it a little bit, but when you put it back in, we'll put it in with a little bit of technique so we don't bend it up too much so it works afterwards. On the edges of the phone, there's PH000 screws holding down the charge port, and I wanted to point out the two down by the charge port. You'll have to take out the microphone bracket to get 
the one on the left out down by the charge port. And I'll show you right here in the video. And I also wanted to let you know that most phones, it's a Y triple zero screw on the frame of the phone, but these ones are PH triple zero screws. So don't get confused while you're putting it back together. Finally, we can start taking out the charge port, but then I realized there's a standoff right here on the bottom left that kind of hides underneath the flex cable, so you want to make sure to move it and get that unscrewed. And then there's a PH000 screw down there as well, and uh, it's kind of hidden. Just want to point that out. We got it removed. Now we got the charge port out. Look at that. The plastic has melted inside the phone. I'm surprised this thing didn't start a fire. It looked like it did start a little mini fire inside the phone, but didn't light the whole battery on fire, which they got lucky. All right. Anyways, we will get out the new charge port and we'll get this thing unpackaged. It has little pull tabs on the back, especially you want to make sure you got them removed over the microphone because the microphone will sound all muffled if you forget the little piece of plastic on it. So we're going to put the charge port in. And to put the charge port in, you can't just lay it down straight down right in the charge port. Because on the right hand side, the charge port goes underneath the plastic part of the loudspeaker. And you have that bracket you'll have to put underneath. You'll have to put the... Um, charge port underneath it and then put the charge port in and get it screwed down right away so it doesn't come loose. And I want to recommend just trying over and over again. This part was really hard and I thought I might have had gotten to a part of this phone being not repairable or something where you just got to remove that plastic bracket out to get the charge port in, which I didn't take out and I was managed to get it in over time after trying and trying again. The reason for not removing that plastic bracket is that I believe it's part of the frame. It's like melted to the frame or something. Times I've done back glass housing replacements on older phones, that part wasn't removable and it was like part of the frame or something. But anyways, um, not all of them are like that. I just remember a couple. So I did not want to take it out. We'll put down the standoff screws holding down the charge port and we'll start putting it all back together before we put the flex cable underneath the board. Just a reminder that you should make sure that you got those two PH000 screws screwed in right down by the bottom of the charge ports um, just so you can make sure you don't forget those because then you'll have to take it all the way apart to put those back in because you need them in the phone. All right, so we'll uh, get the flex cable attached to the logic board. So before we screw it all down perfectly, we want to make sure it attaches because we don't want to have to take it apart again uh, because we screwed it down before attaching it to the flex cable and it just didn't reach just enough. <laughs> and it's happened. You guys can learn from my mistakes from screwing it all together and then trying to attach the flex cable. Well, luckily it attached and we're going to get the microphone one attached as well. So we're getting that one screwed down and we'll add on the microphone bracket and uh, you have to hold down the uh, microphone and I don't know, it's some sort of sensor next to it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that little white dot thing does that I'm pulling off adhesive on. Anyways, um, we want to stick it down and it's kind of a act where you just got to hope it works and you put it together because you might have to take it apart again and take it out because this bracket is hard to put down. And you want to fold these uh, flex cables in a certain way. So use your old charge port to look at it as an example of how you want your flex cables to lay so then you can remember how to put it back together. Secret tips. All right, you guys, I'm going to speed up this part of the video, play some music. You guys can watch me put it back together. 
If there's any other tips that I see along the way, I'll try to make sure to point them out, but mostly just sit back and enjoy the video. The reason I speed up my videos, you guys, is because I want you to mail in your repairs. Email me, mark at worthitrepairs.com, and I will help you repair your device, or devices. All right, I want to point out one thing here in the video. I didn't adhere the battery, because during testing, I want to make sure everything works before I fully put it back together. So we're not going to adhere the battery until after we test it. And I don't put that in the video. I just finished the repair. So you'll have to put on the screen and then screw it all back together and adhere the screen back down. So just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that. Please like and subscribe and leave me a super thanks if you found my guide helpful because I made it very helpful. <laughs>